Hello everyone. We shall look into few functions or uh, list information functions uh, currently. Here uh, we have a blank Power Query editor. Let us quickly uh, take a blank query and uh, create a list. Let us see how we create a list. Uh, write equal to open the curly braces. Uh, to give a like uh, specific list, you could type one comma two comma three comma four comma five and click uh, OK or uh, check this mark. You could uh, see a list appearing over here from one to five. Suppose that you want a list of uh, you know long list of numbers. Uh, there is a shortcut of uh, uh, like you write one uh, and uh, two dots. You write any number which you want to like see. I have written 20 to see the list of 20 numbers from 1 to 20. This is how I make a list quickly. 1, 2 dots and 20. 1, 2 dots and 20. Here, suppose that uh, after uh, 20, I want to include include null values. Okay, after 20, I will put a comma and I will write null in small letters and I will I'll write another null in small letters. I'll write uh, 21, 22, 23, 24, and uh, 25. So I have created 25 numbers along with the two nulls. There are 27 rows in this list. I'll uh, convert this into table by clicking on this option. Okay, I'll click OK. Now this column is now converted into table. Okay, I'll rename this. I'll change the data type to whole number and I would rename this column as numbers. So there are four applied steps in this uh, you know, uh, Power Query. If you click on the advanced editor, you could see that uh, there are four steps which are made by uh, like this is my source. I have converted to table and uh, I have changed the data type and I have renamed the columns. To make it convenient uh, like for, uh, for the next steps, I'll just quickly rename this uh, last step to um, maybe num. Okay, I'll, I have written just num, and in the output I want num, so I'll write num. I have changed nothing. I have just changed the name of the variable. So as you understand, the variable will give, will give the respective value without any changes. So here you could see that my last step is named as num num and uh, the numbers are appearing appropriately. Let us uh, quickly go through the functions. This is all uh, with respect to the list part. I'll uh, rename the column as list. I'll go to add, add column, click on custom column. Let us see the first function which is list.count. I'll type the column name as list count. Okay, I'll write the function list, list.count. Okay, I'll open the parenthesis, insert the numbers column. If you insert directly and uh, close the parenthesis and click OK, here you could see the error because uh, we, we do not usually write uh, the you know step in this fashion. Let, let for uh, like correcting it, let me show you how to write it correctly. I'll write list count. Okay, here in the list, once you start a list count function, Okay, what you have to do is you have to go to the previous step which is num. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll write hash, put double quotes and write num. After the double quotes, open your square bracket. You could see the numbers column. Okay, and I'll close the parenthesis. What you have to do is you have to take the last step and uh, you know put the column name and close the parenthesis. Okay, and then click OK. Here you could see that there are 27, uh, you know, count. It, it also counts the null values. List.count function also calculate the null values. I'll uh, again show you. We have to write the, you know, uh, m, m source code format hash the previous step name within double quotes and then you have to write column name within square brackets. Uh, by this you could uh, count the list like how many rows are present along with the null values. Suppose that you do not want to include these null values. Uh, we shall 
like look into another function which is called non null count i'll write non null count as you type in non null count here you have the function list dot non null count open the parenthesis again we'll write in the same fashion put a pound sign or hash string uh, open the double quotes i'll write now okay after that i have to open the square brackets take the numbers column and close the parenthesis so list dot non null count it will uh, you know exclude the nulls and give me the rest of the row count here it has excluded this two nulls and it has given the row count of 25 okay this is this is how list dot non null count works and uh, moving on to the other function suppose that we want to check whether the list, list is empty or not uh, there is a fu function called is empty okay uh, since it is list uh, it is list dot is empty once you open the uh, like parenthesis again we have to similarly we have to provide the num column along with the column name which is numbers and close the parenthesis once you click ok here you could see that even for null values it does not count that uh, the list is empty uh, whether it is null whether it is number whether it is blank okay this empty function always counts the value and it will uh, show the false condition the only condition when is empty shows the true condition is uh, when you enter the query in a blank way i'll quickly go to blank query i'll show you how how we have to check that suppose that i am typing the list dot is empty okay and i'll open the parenthesis and i'll provide an empty list within it so list dot is empty with an empty list within it i'll click on check you could see that it is true in true condition only for this condition it will show that the list is empty apart from that for any other condition for the list it will uh, give me the false condition this is how list count, non null count, and uh, is empty count, uh, is empty list works. Please do practice, and uh, we shall meet in the next video. Thank you.